Yes, you can restore your MP501 history into the new EasyFile version 8 from the old EasyFile version 7, even after submitting the latest 2025-02 period. I've done it myself, and in this video, I'll show you exactly how. Step by step, using real backups from 2022 and 2023. Make sure you watch till the end and don't miss a single step because within each step there's important information you need to know if you ever have to import past MP501 submissions in case SARS requests them. I've already installed EasyFile version 8 and I'm launching it now from the icon on my desktop. You'll see the EasyFile thin client loading. This is normal. The system also checks for updates in the background. So don't worry if it takes a bit of time. Just be patient and let the program run until it opens. Once EasyFile opens, go ahead and log in with your username and password. Best practice, stick with the default admin username and password when you install EasyFile and avoid changing it. Rather, add more users than change the admin username. That small tip can save you a lot of trouble down the line. Next, select the employer you want to work with. EasyFile will now access that employer's database and you'll see the pay as you earn number pop up in the message block. Just press OK to continue. At the top, in the middle of the screen, you'll see the option to select a period. Now just a heads up. In the old EasyFile, you'd first select the employee and then choose the period. But in the new EasyFile version 8, it works the other way around. You first select the period and then view the employees within that specific period. Each period works independently now. And that's a major shift to understand. When you open the periods, you'll see multiple years of reconciliations listed. Look at 2025-02 and 2024-02. They've got green tick marks next to them. That means those EMP501 submissions were successfully submitted and are available in the new EasyFile. You'll also notice the mid-year submissions, like August, are closed off. That's because you can't submit a mid-year reconciliation after the year end has already passed. Now if you look at 2023-02 and 2022-02, there's no green tick, which means EasyFile version 8 doesn't have that submission history yet. So that's what we're going to fix in this video. Before you retrieve the history, make sure you have your EasyFile version 7 backup on hand. You'll need it for this process. Then, while you're still on the dashboard section of EasyFile version 8, click on the Retrieve Certificate History button. We're now on the Retrieve History screen. Click the Select File button to locate your old format backup file. It's a compressed file, and if you look at the file name, you'll see the date is included. That tells me this backup is from the 2024-08 submission period. All my companies are saved in this one file. Once selected, click open to upload it. Next, enter your old EasyFile login details. Then type in the page you earn reference number for the employer you want to import. If you're unsure which page you earn number to use, look at the top. It appears in the name box. If it matches the employer you're working on, you're good to go. Then select the period you want to retrieve. In my case, I'm starting with the 2023-02 period. So that's what I'm choosing here. Now press Request Certificate Data. If all goes well, you'll get the message Certificate History Successfully Retrieved. Click OK. And let's test if the process actually worked. At the top, select the 2023-02 period again. Then, head over to the Employee Admin section in the menu on the left. Scroll through the employee list. 
you'll see the employees are now showing. They weren't there before we retrieved the certificate data. And just above the employee list, you'll see the heading confirms the reconciliation period, 2023-02. That tells us we're looking at the correct set of data. Let's expand our test. Click on one of the employees, then click view to open their certificate for that period. The most important set of information to take note of is right there on the green certificate button. It already shows you the key details at a glance. 1. Certificate number. 2. Reconciliation period. 3. Year of submitted. And most importantly, that this certificate has been submitted. To view more detail about the actual certificate, click on the green certificate button. And here, you'll find the full certificate breakdown. Let's scroll through it quickly to make sure it looks accurate and complete. The income received. Total income received. Deductions, including total deductions and contributions. Tax credit, and as we scroll further, you'll notice that there's also actions available, like cancelling the certificate. Now let's check the certificate history. You'll see the certificate source listed as imported. The date it was created and the status showing submitted. You'll see the exact submission date and that there's been no previous status or cancellation activity. Honestly, I don't want to miss anything up here. So I'm exiting the screen and going back to the employee list for the 2023-02 period. Now, just to show you clear evidence that the new EasyFile imports work period by period, let's take a look at the 2022-02 period, which should have no data, since up to now, we've only imported 2023-02. As you can see under Employee Admin, there are no employees listed for 2022-02. That's because we haven't retrieved any certificate history for this period yet. Now here's the important part. I'm going to show you that you can retrieve certificate history for a previous period like 2022-02 without it affecting your current or already submitted data. It doesn't replace anything. It simply adds the historical data to your system. Let me show you exactly what I mean. Let's go back to the dashboard screen and click on Retrieve Certificate History again. We're following the same process as before, so I'm going to speed things up a bit. Select your backup file and click Open. Enter the login details from that backup. Just a heads up, this may be different from your current EasyFile version 8 login, so use the credentials from your old EasyFile system. Enter the page you and reference number. Select the 2022-02 period and then click Request Certificate Data. The system runs. And swoosh, the message I want to see pops up. Certificate History Successfully Retrieved. Press OK. Let's test the process to make sure everything went through as expected. We're still in a 2022-02 period, and if you head over to Employee Admin, you'll now see a list of employees under Employee Search Results. These employees weren't there before. They only appeared after we imported the certificate history. So we know the 2022-02 import worked perfectly. Just like we did with 2023-02, Let's zoom in to a specific employee certificate and check that there's actual information inside. To open the certificate details, click on the green Submitted button. This opens up the full certificate view. And here it is on screen. Certificate details. Income received. Total income received. Tax credits and contributions. And my favorite part, 
the certificate history. This section reveals the key dates, when the certificate was created and when it was submitted to SARS. Everything looks in order and honestly, I'm heading out of the screen before I mess something up. Now that we've confirmed the employee certificates are restored and accurate, let's take it one step further and double check that the 202202 reconciliation itself was actually submitted to SARS and that we can see it. This is just to put our minds at ease and make sure everything's in order. Go to the reconciliation section and select EMP 501 history. Make sure the 202202 period is selected at the top. That's important because it tells EasyFall which period's submission history to display. EasyFall will ask you to enter your SARS e-filing login details. This allows it to sync the official submission records. Once connected, scroll to the bottom where you'll see the MP501 submission history, including the exact date and time that the 2022 reconciliation was submitted. In my case, it shows the reconciliation was submitted on 30 May 2022, right near the deadline. Alright, so we've confirmed that 202202 was safely submitted and restored. But now let's bring it full circle and make sure the most important thing hasn't changed. Our 202502 submission. This is the reconciliation we submitted before importing any backups. So we want to be 100% sure it's still there, untouched. At the top, where the period is defined, select 202502. Then scroll all the way down to the MP501 Reconciliation Status Dashboard. And just below that, you'll see the MP501 Submission History. Here it is. It shows that the MP501 was submitted online. The exact date and time of submission and the tax year confirmed as 2025. So yes, restoring past certificate history had no effect on your current submissions. Everything's still intact, just as it should be. With that confirmed, let's head back to the dashboard one last time and take a look. All the restored periods now show those reassuring green submission ticks. That green tick means the MP501 for that period was successfully submitted to SARS. It's easy false way of confirming the data is complete, accepted and officially lodged. That's your visual proof that the history imports worked and that your easy file version 8 is now accurate, up to date and audit ready. If you want this kind of payroll peace of mind every month without the admin chaos, why not give Sites Business Cloud Payroll a try? They've got a 30 day free trial, no strings, no stress. Links in the description. I'm Louis from The Fun Accountant making payroll less painful and your business hopefully a little more awesome. Catch you in the next one.